Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy and welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be making grass jelly. As kids, we would call this black jello and my mom would make this for us in the summertime as a cool, refreshing dessert. Grass jelly's scientific name is Plastoma palustra and it's eaten all over East Asia as a refreshing dessert. The version I'm going to be showing you today is how my mom made it for us. It's the grass jelly with just a simple banana flavored syrup. I know, banana, you're gonna say, Emmy, don't you detest banana? Yeah, yeah, but this is banana extract, so we're all good. My mom would actually just buy the grass jelly in a can. Just open the can and pop it out and it would be kind of like the cranberry sauce around Thanksgiving. It just comes out in a solid form. You can also make a powdered version, just like you would make instant jello. And I've got some right here. It's grass jelly powder. So you're gonna take three tablespoons of the grass jelly powder and combine that with 360 milliliters of water, which is about a cup and two thirds of water. Mix this up and let it sit for a few minutes and bring it up to a boil. And we're gonna allow it to simmer just for a couple minutes just to make sure everything is nice and dissolved. Then you pour this mixture into a container, allow it to cool at room temperature for a little bit and then place it in the refrigerator and allow it to cool for several hours. So that's how you would typically make a batch of grass jelly. But I thought, why not get a little bit creative and do kind of a Kyoho jelly kind of version of this. So if you're not familiar with Kyoho jelly, they are spheres of jelly that are made with Kyoho grapes which are beautiful grapes that come from Japan. They're huge, they're very dark in color, and they've got a great kind of conquered grape flavor to them, very succulent and just so delicious. Now the jellies are made from the juice of the grapes, and they are made in kind of like these balloons. And to open them, you take a toothpick or something and poke it, and it breaks the skin of the balloon, and it reveals this beautiful, shiny jelly that's really dark in color, almost black, but has this beautiful flavor of the grape. Now, among the ASMR community, it was wildly popular, and I thought I could make a version using grass jelly. It's gonna be similar also to the DIY balloon pudding I did about three years ago that uses the same technique of using a toothpick or something sharp to puncture the balloon, pop, and you get this beautiful pudding inside. I'll also put the link down below to that video in case you missed it. So rather than using balloons for this recipe, I thought I could use latex gloves. And that idea was inspired by a Korean channel, I'll put the link down below, which has a beautiful golden retriever that does these ASMR videos. They're <laughs> really terrific. They showed how they made their homemade jellies using latex gloves. And I thought that was just brilliant because the opening of a glove is much, much wider than a balloon and so much easier to fill when you're using a material like jello or jelly that's much thicker in consistency. So what I did was I rinsed out some latex gloves and then I took my mixture of grass jelly, poured it inside the cleaned out glove, and then I gathered all the fingers and the wrist portion, tied that into a knot, and then twisted it very tightly and secured it with a rubber band. Aren't these hilarious? My husband opened up the refrigerator and said, what are those? I'm like, oh, those are my Kyoho jellies. I'm just gonna pop it. All right, here we go. Oh! <laughs> sort of. It's not as shiny as I would have liked, but we can take all that off. Yeah. Wow. That. My big grass jelly ball. <laughs> It mostly worked. Let's pop another one. Ooh, ooh, that one turned out great. Look at that one. That was a beauty. Yes. So something must have happened between the consistency between this one and that one. This one's gorgeous. This one's perfect. Yes, winner. Alrighty, so now that the most exciting part is completed, let me show you how to traditionally make a batch of grass jelly. So here is a container of grass jelly and let me unmold it. So cut it into bite-sized pieces. And now we're gonna make a syrup. That's what's gonna give the grass jelly some flavor because the grass jelly itself actually has a slightly kind of bitter, 
almost kind of wintergreen flavor. Not quite mint, but it has an herbaceous taste to it and it definitely needs some sugar. So I just talked to my mom on the phone last night and she said, you're gonna sweeten it to your own taste. Just make a syrup. So I put about three tablespoons of sugar there and an equal amount of just warm water. I'm just gonna whisk that. And then we're gonna add some banana extract. Oh yeah, it smells just like I remember. Almost smells kind of bubblegummy. Mm, it's great. Just a little touch of that. To serve this, we're gonna take our grass. So we're gonna add our jelly to the bowl. And I remember my mom, since she would use the canned version as a quick dessert, she would put ice cubes in this to chill the jelly. But since mine's been stored in the refrigerator, mine's already nice and cold. And now we're just going to add our syrup. There it is. Alrighty, let's have a taste of my childhood. Itadakimasu. Hmm. Exactly how I remember. Mm. The jelly has a texture very similar to Jello, very smooth and soft, slightly bouncy, different than agar agar, which has a kind of firmer bite. This is soft and gelatinous and bouncy, but not rubbery. Hmm and it's sweet because of the syrup and it's infused with this banana flavor. Definitely artificial banana flavor, but I like it so much. And it's very different than say like Laffy Taffy banana too. And the grass jelly itself tastes a bit herbaceous and similar to wintergreen. It's delicious and tastes just like I remember. <laughs> oh, reminds me of my mom. Mm. Alrighty, so what shall we do with the big one? It reminds me of my raindrop cake video. Do you remember that? Oh my gosh, that was years ago. Bongo, 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 raindrop. You can see my reflection in it. Ah, it's so great. Now let's put some of the syrup on it. Ooh, look at that. Gorgeous. Let's give this a cut. <sighs> All right, let's give this a taste. Here we go. Mm, not nearly as good as it is in this fashion because you take a, such a big bite and there's so little syrup, you get mostly the grass jelly flavor, which isn't unpleasant, it's just not very sweet. It's kind of bland and has a vaguely wintergreeny flavor. But this way, with the banana syrup, it's absolutely delicious. <laughs> Look, I made one in a hand. <laughs> Let's see if this one will come out. I don't think popping is gonna work because there's not enough surface tension. Ooh, that one just bled all over the place. This isn't looking too promising, but you never know. <gasps> it broke a finger, but I think I can kind of reattach it. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's very strange. <laughs> the fingers are not very strong though. So not a lot of structural integrity, but wow, that's grim. Look at that. <laughs> All right, I have two other grass jellies that I wanna to pop too. Oh, that one did not turn out. So something about the temperature at which you pour in the grass jelly is really crucial. Ooh. Oh, that one didn't quite work too. So out of the four, only one of them worked. Oh, well, so there you have it. Grass jelly made in my text gloves and made as a lovely dessert. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Doodaloo, take care, bye.